Let us move forward with strong and active faith. I ask you to judge me by the enemies I have made. In this war, we know books are weapons, and it is a part of your dedication, always, to make them weapons for man's freedom. Democracy cannot succeed unless those who express their choice are prepared to choose wisely. When you come to the end of your rope, tie a knot and hang on. The only thing we have to fear is fear itself. That, in its essence, is fascism, ownership of government by an individual, by a group, or any controlling private power. Remember, remember always, that all of us, and you and I especially, are descended from immigrants and revolutionists. I'm not the smartest fellow in the world, but I can sure pick smart colleagues. Books cannot be killed by fire, people die, but books never die. We cannot always build the future for our youth, but we can build our youth for the future. The real safeguard of democracy, therefore, is education. No man and no force can abolish memory. To reach a port, we must set sail, sail, not tie at anchor, sail, not drift. Courage is not the absence of fear, but rather the assessment that something else is more important than fear. The only limit to our realization of tomorrow will be our doubts of today. Happiness lies in the joy of achievement and the thrill of creative effort. Happiness is not in the mere possession of money. There are many ways of going forward, but only one way of standing still. A conservative is a man with two perfectly good legs who, however, has never learned to walk forward. Our strength is our unity of purpose, to that high concept, there can be no end save victory. It isn't sufficient just to want, you've got to ask yourself what you are going to do to get the things you want. The truth is found when men and women are free to pursue it. In the truest sense, freedom cannot be bestowed, it must be achieved. Those who have long enjoyed such privileges as we enjoy, forget in time that men have died to win them. We are steering a steady course toward economic oligarchy, if we are not there already. Physical strength can never permanently withstand the impact of spiritual force. Some people can never understand that you have to wait, even for the best of things, until the right time comes. Never underestimate a man who overestimates himself. There is a mysterious cycle in human events, to some generations, much is given, of other generations, much is expected. If you treat people right, they will treat you right, 90% of the time. 
Be sincere, be brief, be seated. We have always known that heedless self-interest was bad morals, we now know that it is bad economics. Human kindness has never weakened the stamina or softened the fiber of a free people. A reactionary is a somnambulist walking backwards. Great power involves great responsibility. They have sold their heritage of freedom for the illusion of a living, they have yielded their democracy. A liberal is a man who uses his legs and his hands at the behest, at the command, of his head. I think we consider too much the luck of the early bird and not enough the bad luck of the early worm. The park stand as the outward symbol of the great human principle. A radical is a man with both feet firmly planted in the air. Taxes, after all, are dues that we pay for the privileges of membership in an organized society. We and all others who believe in freedom as deeply as we do, would rather die on our feet than live on our knees. The essence of our struggle is that men shall be free. People, like charity, begin at home. A smooth sea never made a skilled sailor. It is common sense to take a method and try it, if it fails, admit it frankly and try another, but above all, try something. Books, like ships, have the toughest armor, the longest cruising range, and mount the most powerful guns. Men are not prisoners of fate, but only prisoners of their own minds. Repetition does not transform a lie into a truth. A nation does not have to be cruel to be tough. A war of ideas can no more be won without books than a naval war can be won without ships. Do something, if it works, do more of it, if it doesn't, do something else. We are fighting to save a great and precious form of government for ourselves and for the world. People who are hungry and out of a job are the stuff of which dictatorships are made. War is young men dying and old men talking. You are only an extra in everyone else's play. For out of this modern civilization, economic royalists carved new dynasties, new kingdoms were built upon concentration of control over material things. It is fun to be in the same decade with you. We have always held to the hope, the belief, the conviction that there is a better life, a better world, beyond the horizon. Hitler built a fortress around Europe, but he forgot to put a roof on it. Presidents are selected, not elected. Freedom means the supremacy of human rights everywhere. Our support goes to those who struggle to gain those rights and keep them. 
Among us today, a concentration of private power without equal in history is growing. We had to struggle with the old enemies of peace, business and financial monopoly, speculation, reckless banking, class antagonism, sectionalism, or profiteering. True individual freedom cannot exist without economic security and independence. No man can occupy the office of president without realizing that he is president of all the people. In politics, nothing happens by accident, if it happens, you can bet it was planned that way. It's a terrible thing to look over your shoulder when you are trying to lead, and to find no one there. Confidence thrives on honesty, on honor, on the sacredness of obligations, on faithful protection and on unselfish performance, without them it cannot live. As a nation, we may take pride in the fact that we are soft-hearted, but we cannot afford to be soft-headed. We know that equality of individual ability has never existed and never will, but we do insist that equality of opportunity still must be sought. Our sons, pride of our nation, this day have set upon a mighty endeavor, a struggle to preserve our republic, our religion, and our civilization, and to set free a suffering humanity. Man's desire to be remembered is colossal. We must be the great arsenal of democracy.